Hello wonderful people, today I'm actually talking live to you and it's not a voice over yet. I'm just a little tired of the same format of videos that I did but I still wanted to share with you and also I don't want to make hauls because I feel it's just weird to show what I bought but of course you know that I buy things to try them out and make reviews. So in today's video I wanted to combine um, a review of these Da Vinci Casaneo brushes that I got for me and these um, Gansai Tambi colors where, which are these dusky colors. So let's talk about the brushes first. Why did I get these two? Mainly because I already owned these two. This is a Da Vinci Casaneo quill in size 4 and it's a nice big brush. Um, it has a wonderful point and I really really like it but in the last few weeks and months I was painting a lot in this tiny sketchbook and this brush was just a little bit too big for me because it holds so much water, so much paint that it was just too big for this sketchbook. It's wonderful on bigger paper though. And I also had this Da Vinci Casaneo brush, which doesn't hold its point well anymore. This is when I wet it. And I like it a lot. It was gifted to me by a friend, by Anya, <coughs> who has a channel on YouTube too. And I will link, link it up below. Her name is, or her nickname is Hatfell. So she gifted me this brush and this is how this all started. This was my first Da Vinci Casaneo brush and I liked it a lot. And though it doesn't hold the point well anymore, I still like it because it allows me to paint more loosely, which I sometimes struggled with. And this is something I can't achieve with brushes that have a little bit more snap to them, like the... Um, silver black velvet brushes which I really like but it's just a technique that doesn't work for me with this kind of brushes for loser paintings I just need something that doesn't hold the point well and that's why I still love this brush a lot and as you can see when it's pre it's it still has a point but it's it loses it more quickly. So to paint on smaller sized paper like these, the sketchbook, I got myself a quill in size two and a quill in size zero. And let's open them. I haven't opened them yet. Oh. And this is how nice they look. Just freshly from the store very very nice and this is the size zero here in comparison I have some water here just to um, take away the sizing There's quite a lot of sizing in there. Uh, and as you can see now, these are very, very soft brushes. They're pure synthetic, so they're vegan too. And yeah, I like the, these ones a lot, so that's why I got the smaller sizes. <coughs> In the end, I will also make a painting using these brushes and this pa these paints oh, there. And as you can see, very nice tip. But as they are soft, I think I will be able to paint loosely with them too. Oh, very soft, very nice. When talking about these paints. These are Gansai Tambi 
paints or Gansai paints. I don't speak Japanese and I'm sorry when I'm making mistakes. And there are six colors. I was actually asked if I want to review the set by um, friends and if I had it. And that's when I already had ordered them. The first time I have seen these colors on, I think, Mickey's channel, who, by the way, makes amazing wooden trays for watercolors. I will link her down below too. And I think there's a palette with the same colors, but in a ceramic, like flower palette. And I think the review of these colors were made by Eve Bold, whom I will link down below as well. Um, so the colors in the set are reddish black, yellowish black, greenish black, bluish black, purplish black and brownish black. And they have just some numbers. I already own um, Kuretaka Gansai Tambi colors, which I actually like but don't use very often. Um, you can see a video how um, Gansai colors and traditional Western watercolors um, are different on Shadi Saves a Day um, on Shadi's channel. But she made ex exquisite, very, very in detail reviews and has an um, amazing amount of knowledge that she shares in her videos. So these paints are made in Japan. Here's a um, I think this is the company Boku Undo. Um, there's a site and some informations and I can't read only the English one. Well, I can read only the English ones. It comes in like a paper tray with a paper insert and let me take them out. This these big I think this was the black, the blue. Um, in this big um, pans, which aren't filled to the rim, as you can see, there's still like a little bit air. I think it was like a wet paint that was filled and which dried back a bit and then they weren't refilled. The They look glossy and nice and I've already swatched them here, as you can see. So what I want to paint today is a gorilla. And yeah, let's do that. I want to paint a little bit without pre-sketching and yeah, enjoy. Welcome to the voiceover. And let's talk about the paints and the brushes. So when I started this painting, this was a um, very relax uh, relaxing experience for me because I had no sketch and th that's what I personally sometimes like to do. And it feels very relieving to me. It was only me, the paper and the paint and the new brushes of course but there was nothing else and I enjoyed the experience I also kind of need this right now and that's what I'm doing that I'm sorry that there aren't more videos and I'm very thankful for the ones who are there who watch the videos who are commenting I'm really enjoying um, the connection I have with all of you and the new voices and the opinions that I've read and yeah thank you and welcome of course so I painted on the same paper I use for my other swatches and just for your information these paints will also be tested for light fastness but as soon as we have a little more sun so not in the, during the winter months 
I was in the mood for these inky colors because that's what I like to use in my fountain pens too. They're very easy to rewet. The big pens are very nice for the bigger brushes. And they're wonderful. When I painted them with them, even in the areas where I used a lot of pigment, I have seen no shine whatsoever from pigment or binder as soon as the paint was dry. That's something that I really enjoy and that I really like in the colors. I also have um, seen that the pigments are separated and especially in the blue there is granulation going on so that's why I suspect that PB29 ultramarine blue was used for the bluish black mix. So that's what I th why I think that there were real pigments used for these colors. The yellowish black is pretty opaque, so I suspect there a cadmium yellow that was used for the yellowish part of the color. Of course, I don't know which pigments for sure were used. There's no pigment information that I could find so far, but I will do some sort of research. Especially, I don't know if these paints are vegan uh, or whether there was bone black used for the black part. Um, so, I don't know. But I know that, for example, the Kuratake Ganzo Tampi, with the exception for the black, are vegan indeed, because they use no honey in them. As mentioned in the video of Shade, you can see um, have more information about the Gansai colors. They are flowy in the water and I like that, but you must be careful that because the paints tend to cauliflower or react with water. So if you don't like that, this might be an issue for you with the paints. Also, some would argue that they are not professional paints because we don't know the pigments, we don't know the ratio, but they are very enjoyable to use for me at least. As with anything, just check if the supplies fit your style or just what you feel like using. Sometimes as artists we have, or at least I do, I have an urge to use a certain product or to try it or I don't know to play around and I can't help myself but try and do that and I believe that others might feel the same too so if you can feel free to do that and just don't let yourself be limited by I don't know anything creativity is something so beautiful and we all should enjoy and embrace it as much as we can, right? It's also very freeing, I feel. So, if you feel like painting with cheap paints because you enjoy them, but other others don't, well, who cares? Do what you enjoy. Um, now, after this, motivational speech. Let's talk about about the brushes. And to be honest, oh, I like them so much. But I would not use them with gouache. They are way too soft for paints like gouache. Um, but they are very nice for watercolors. They can hold so much water. They can be so juicy. But especially the quills will have a perfect point. I have painted some other paintings with the same brushes too and I was able to make very fine details with this big brushes. Oh sorry. And I was able to make very fine details with these big brushes. And it was no problem. Just very nice quality brushes. And if you like a juicy brush with a very nice point. 
go for the quill in the Da Vinci Casaneo line because I know the round, round brushes loose as I feel or what my experience was so far lose the point a little more quickly <clears throat> but as mentioned I still like this brush without the point because I just like the how it feels um, they have less snap than the let's say silver black velvet silver black velvet brushes would have or have um, I have a direct comparison and I enjoy both because certain styles or techniques just need a little more or a little less snap as mentioned and it's also per personal preference so if you know you have a style where you use a firmer brush with a nice tip well don't go for those that are very soft and don't have a tip right It's just, yeah, don't throw away money, just go for things that fit your style and your needs, because, yeah, I try to do that too, to be honest. And I know this sounds very positive and I was very excited for this combination. I will use the brushes more, um, also with other watercolors for sure, but I really enjoyed these inky colors. This is something that I feel like is freeing to me personally and that I was like waiting for to use and I <laughs> will use them more. And I know it's not the style that I you uh, used to see from me but I've did that before and I will do it again and I really enjoyed painting without the sketch first it's not perfect how can it be but it was very enjoyable I even wasn't sure if I should share this one and ask a friend if I should and ask my partner and they both seem to like it <clears throat> which really honors me. Um, I hope some of you do too, and if not, I'm really sorry. I promise some of my usual art is coming soon. For the next video, I have something more Christmassy for you, but I'm not fully in the Christmas mood yet. So there might be other stuff that I will share with you too. Until then, please take care of yourself stay safe the numbers are growing and it's very scary my corona test was negative by the way if anyone follows me on instagram they know i was in quarantine and been tested and had some symptoms etc it's something different and it's being taken care of but um yeah it's a scary time and please be safe keep distancing it's going to be over soon ish that means months or a year but it will be over and when we all stay healthy and alive that would be great because i would love to see you and maybe meet some of you when we finally can go out and meet other people in a year i'm not fooling myself Maybe next Christmas. <laughs> Have a wonderful time. Take care of yourself and I hope to see you soon. Bye.